Published, 4.10 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 1st of April 2018, updated, 15.11 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 1st of April 2018 London's murder rate has overtaken New York City's for the first time ever as the 12th person has been killed in just 19 days. February marked the first month in history books that London had more murders than the American city with a total of 15 homicides, out of the 15 killed, 9 were aged 30 or younger. In March, there were 22 murders, which is likely to match if not beat out New York's numbers. The murder epidemic continued on Sunday when a man in his 20s was fatally stabbed after leaving a bar in Wandsworth, marking the 12th person to be murdered in London in 19 days. A man has died after being stabbed to death on Sunday morning in Wandsworth. The unnamed victim in his 20s had left a bar and was found with the fatal wound on Ellerton Road at the junction with Burntwood Lane. Pictured, the man, who is thought to be 20, was pronounced dead at the scene around 2 a.m. on Sunday. Formal identification awaits and a post-mortem examination will take place in due course, but the victim's next of kin have been informed police have launched the latest murder investigation in the death of the unnamed young man who was stabbed to death on Easter Sunday. He suffered a fatal stab wound at around 1.10 a.m. on Sunday, after leaving a bar in Wandsworth, southwest London. Met police attended the scene along with the London Ambulance Service. Despite the best efforts of officers and paramedics, the man was pronounced dead at the scene just before 2 a.m. Formal identification awaits and a post-mortem examination will take place in due course, but the victims next of kin have been informed. A 21-year-old man has been arrested on suspicion of murder and is currently in custody at a West London police station, a murder epidemic is sweeping London. On Sunday, an unnamed man in his 20s became the 12th person in just 19 days to be gunned down or stabbed to death in the capital. A 21-year-old man has been arrested on suspicion of murder and is currently in custody at a West London police station in connection to the Sunday killing locals left flowers and tributes to the stabbing victim on Sunday afternoon according to a report by the Sunday Times, New York City's murder statistics have decreased by 87% since the 1990s. Meanwhile, London's rate has grown by nearly 40% in just three years, not including deaths caused by terrorist attacks. Although New York last year had nearly double the number of murders than London, experts are concerned the gap is steadily closing, officials are concerned about the uptick in fatal stabbings, fearing there is a dangerous surge in knife crime. Last year there was a total of 80 fatal stabbings in the capital, the most in almost a decade, and official figures show that 2017 was the worst year for knife deaths among young people since at least 2002, 46 people aged 25 or under were stabbed to death in London, up by 21 compared with the previous year, according to police figures. Lyndon Davis, left 18, the youngest to have been named in March was found suffering from a single stab wound in Chadwell Heath, East London on March 14. Joseph Williams Torres, right, 20, was killed the same evening as he sat in a stationary car in Essex Close, Walthamstow Joseph Williams Torres, 20, Walthamstow Lyndon Davis, 18, Chadwell had Russell Jones, 23, and Fielder C. Hersey, 36, Hounslow Tyrone Silkett, 42, Hackney Balbeer Johal, 48, Southall Yermaine Johnson, 41, Walthamstow Benjamin Peak near 20, Stratford Centre Abraham Badru, 26, Hackney David Potter, 50, Tooting High Street Unnamed Man, 23, Greenwich a named man, 20s, Wandsworth Detective Chief Inspector Mark Cranwell said on Sunday, sadly, another family has been left devastated with the tragic death of a young man from an act of violence, we are appealing to anyone who was in the area to come forward, we know that the victim left a bar in Garrett Lane, SW18 at 1.05 hours and then 7 minutes later, he was found on Ellerton Road at the junction with Burnt Wood Lane, the victim's death comes as London's murder rates have overtaken New York City's numbers for the first time ever, the man's death on Sunday marks the 12th murder in London in 19 days. Lyndon Davis, 18, the youngest to have been killed in March was found suffering from a single stab wound in Chadwell Heath, East London on March 14. Joseph Williams Torres, 20, was killed the same evening as he sat in a stationary car in Essex Close, Walthamstow. Russell Jones, 23, was ambushed outside shops near Ponders End Station, in Enfield and stabbed and shot to death. Father of two, Tyrone Silk, at 42, died from knife wounds on March 18 after a St. Patrick's Day party. It is alleged the car mechanic got into a row over two girls at a party in Homerton and was attacked. Romanian Benjamin Peak near 20, pictured, is believed to have jumped into the fight in a bid to save his friend during the altercation at the Stratford Centre in East London. Hersey Hersey, left, who lived as a trans woman called Naomi, was pronounced dead at the scene after being found with knife injuries at Heathrow Palace in Hounslow.
Russell Jones, 23, became the eighth person in a week to be killed in London when he was ambushed outside shops near Ponders End Station, and fielder C. Hersey, who lived as a trans woman called Naomi, was pronounced dead at the scene after being found with knife injuries at Heathrow Palace in Haslam Eve Avenue, Hounslow, at 10.50 a.m. on Sunday. On March 19, Balbir Johal, 48, died after being stabbed in Southall and the next day 41-year-old Jermaine Johnson died of knife wounds in Walthamstow. Romanian Benjamin Pigny is believed to have jumped into the fight in a bid to save his friend during the altercation at the Stratford Centre in East London on the 20th. 20-year-old, who only arrived in Britain two months ago, died in his best friend's arms after being chased and stabbed by a gang in the busy shopping centre. On March 25, 26-year-old Abraham Badru was gunned down in Hackney. The university graduate who was murdered in Dalston, East London, on Sunday, was awarded the National Police Bravery Award in July 2009. David Potter, 50, was found stabbed to death in a property on Tooting High Street. On Monday 26, and an unnamed 23-year-old in Greenwich was killed on Thursday night, the final murder for the month of March. London's murder rate has overtaken New York City's numbers for the first time ever. In February, there were 15 murders, including 17-year-old Promise and Kenda, pictured, who was run over and stabbed to death. Louis Blackman, left, was stabbed to death after a party in Kensington on February 18. Corben and Nelson, 22, right, was ambushed outside his home in Tottenham and stabbed to death in early February. Aspiring accountant Sadiq Adam Muhammad, 20, was found with serious stab wounds in Malden Road, in Belsize Park. In February Sadiq Muhammad, 20, Kentish Town Abdikaram Hassan, 17, Kanish Town Joseph Bochi, 30, Greenwich Seed Khan, 49, Ilford Rodimio Shibanyo, 26, South Ulpromise and Kenda, 17, Canning Town Sabri Chibani, 19, Streatham Common Lewis Blackman, 19, Kensington Hassan Oskin, 19, Barking Hannah Leonard, 55, Swiss Cottage Quabina Nelson, 22, Tottenham Mark Smith, 48.